Hello, uh, now we want to look at how you actually add a post to your blog and then how you would add a category to that post. And a category is going to be like a tag, like a hashtag. And your teacher in each of your classes, um, your teacher should give you the hashtag that they want you to use for their class. So when they visit your blog, it will be very easy for them to find the blog post that you have created for their class. So once you have navigated into your blog and you have clicked on your blog page, you'll notice that down in the right hand corner here there is a button that says new post. So I'm going to click on new post and when I click on new post it's going to give me a couple of options here. First of all I'll need to post a title. So this is where you would put the title to the blog that you are going to write. So I am going to put reflections on week one. And let me spell that right. All right, so now that I've got my title in there, then I will be able to drag elements into my actual post. So let's look over here on our toolbar. And in the toolbar over at the left, you'll notice that up at the top you can add a subtitle if you want but most of us will just put text here and then also re remember that you can even add an image if there was an image you wanted to add you could put the image the image could be uh, to the left of the picture um, I mean of the text it could be underneath the text or it can be above the text you always look for that blue horizontal line and wherever you put that line that's where the picture is going to be. So for right now I'll just put it above and you'll notice that the image goes in and now I would be able to click go find an image that's on my computer so I'm going to go into my pictures and I think I've got my picture of a lion in here that I will put at the top of my page because I'm reflecting on my week one and then this is where you would talk and you would type your reflection in. Now, the other thing that we want to make sure that we always do is that we add a category or a label or a tag, whatever you want to call it. Um, you want to add that to your blog. In Weebly, they call these categories. And once we add the category, then we will be able to see over here at the right-hand side that category listed. So I'm going to come back over here on on the left hand side you'll notice that once I'm in my post I have some post options and one of the post options here is to add a category so I'm going to put in hashtag Kelso and then I'm going to press enter and once I press enter I get a little box that's got an X beside it but that tells me that category is going to be added but I also could add another category if I wanted to type hashtag reflections, press enter, now I have two different categories. I know that this is going to be for Kelso's class, but I also know that it's about reflections. Then I'm going to post my uh, blog post. Now right now I have not published my whole web, so we cannot see that yet. But when I close that and I come down here, you will notice that now I have my blog post on my page. And now notice in my categories, I have these different categories listed. And as I add more posts to my blog um, and I get these categories, then I could click. And if I have multiple reflections, I would use this exact same category again. I wouldn't have to create a new one. And it would list all my reflections for all my classes uh, together there. So this is a very nice feature for organizing. Now I do have to say you want to be very careful with your categories. Uh, you want to limit the number of categories you have. So you should probably have a category for each teacher and then you will have some specific categories for the content that will go into your blog. But you want to be careful uh, with the number of categories that you put in here. So we've talked about uh, the importance of categories and how you can add those to your blogs and you want to make sure you add those each time you post to your blog. Thank you.